This is the Citizen Promaster NY0086-16L. It's a 200 meter dive watch for $175. So sit down, grab a cup of coffee, and let's see how the sub 200 Citizen dive watch does. I have done a lot of dive watch reviews on this channel. Why? Because I love dive watches. They are far and away my favorite type of watch. Every time I would do a review on a watch around the $200 price point, people would always get in the comments and say, what about the ProMaster? What about the ProMaster from Citizen? And I was like, you know what? You're right. I've never had a Citizen ProMaster dive watch. So I figured it was about time that I got one. I bought it off of the Joma Shop website for about 100 well, $175. I also got it along with this Seiko title. I will link Joma Shop in the description. Those are affiliate links, which means if you click and you buy, I do get a commission, but it doesn't cost you any more, so it's a great way to support the channel. However, these are gray market watches, which means they will not carry the manufacturer's warranty. However, it will come with a Joma Shop warranty. Whew, let's talk about some specs. Specifications, case diameter of 42 millimeters, 200 meters water resistance. This one comes in a rubber strap. On the Joma Shop website, shockingly, it says that it comes with a Joma Shop five year warranty. I don't know if that's right or if that's a typo because generally speaking, the five year warranties are only for like super expensive watches like Tudors or Omegas off the Joma Shop warranty. But if it comes with a five year warranty, I would take it, I would screenshot that and then when you have something break on it, four years from now, I would send it back to Joma Shop and be like, hey, remember you said five year warranty. Has a day date function at the three o'clock position. Applied indices, 60 click unidirectional bezel, 20 millimeter lug width. So this thing can be strapaholic. This is an ISO certified 6425 watch under $200. Pretty impressive. This ProMaster is powered by the Miyota 8204 movement, which apparently has been discontinued. Has an accuracy rating, I think, of plus 30 or minus 40 a day. The rotor only goes in one direction, though. Unidirectional. I don't know if you can hear that or not. Case thickness of 12 millimeters with a two-tone aluminum bezel insert. Let's talk about the dial. The dial is a very dark blue navy color, almost black in certain lights. Has applied indices. The 12 o'clock looks like a pair of Speedos. And the only reason I say that is because the Mad Watch Collector described it as a pair of pants. And apparently pants means something else in the UK, but they do look like a pair of underwear. At the five minute marks, you have circular applied indices. At the six o'clock position, you have somewhat of a trapezoid with kind of like a little silver trapezoid on top of it. And the same thing at the nine o'clock position. The handset is kind of a arrowhead with a pointer minute hand, very thick and short trapezoid. Looks like a little house with an antenna or aerial on top of it. And the hour hand is just long enough with that little antenna to just kiss the nine o'clock and the six o'clock indices. Seconds hand is silver with a loomed lollipop counterweight. Edge of the seconds hand, I wish was two-tone, different color, but it isn't, so it's fine. Day date window at the 15 minute mark with a black background. So it's not color matched. Actually, I think a white background would have been cool on this. Right underneath the 12 o'clock position is Citizen printed. Underneath the pinion is Automatic Divers 200M with the Citizen logo. Overall, really classy dial. Doesn't seem cheap at all. The printing's pretty good. You have a rehoit with minute marks all the way around with bolder minute marks at the fives. And that is color matched to the dial. I'll just talk about this right now. Crystal is flat and it is not a sapphire crystal. Let's talk about the case. The case definitely has like Seiko vibes, like Seiko 5 Sports, SKX vibes. On the side you have highly polished, very curvy, curvy. On top of the lugs it is circular brushed. You have the crown at the seven o'clock position on the left hand side. 
Crown Guards come up to meet it. Crown, very good size, easy to get a hold of. It is a signed crown. The lugs do turn down just a little bit. Lug to lug on here is fairly short. I don't have a calipers, which I'm going to buy today. If I had to guess though, I would say this is probably like a 46 millimeter lug to lug. Very similar to the Seiko that I'm wearing today. So this is gonna wear really well on a lot of wrists. And I feel like it wears way smaller than the 42 millimeter case diameter. I don't feel like that could possibly be right because it just seems a lot smaller than that. Screw down case back obviously for a dive watch and it has some Citizen stuff on the back there. It's also highly polished on the back of the case. Let's talk about the bezel. Bezel action is pretty solid for a watch under $200. It's a 60 click bezel, which I prefer. Generally speaking on watches, I always find that the 60 click bezels are better than the 120 click bezels. Even really expensive watches that I have that are 120 clicks don't seem nearly as good as like my 60 click Tudor or even my 60 click Glycine Combat Sub. Very satisfying clicks, hardly any really no bounce at all you can see just a titch of movement you can feel a little bit of give when you push down on one side but the bezel movement's really good now you can see right here that the knurling on the bezel does not go all the way around but it is consistent enough that you can grab it on both sides rotate 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 so there are some portions of this bezel that are smooth. However, I never felt like that was an issue at all. There's one terrible watch I have, this POS Yilang, and it has portions of the bezel which aren't machined, and this thing can be a real challenge to get around. By the way, if anybody wants to buy this from me, please email me. I will literally almost sell this to you for nothing. Quartz Tritium watch, huge. Anyway, what were we talking about? Oh, that's right. The Citizen Pro Master. The bezel insert is an aluminum two-tone, somewhat of a Pepsi bezel insert, and it's very well done. The zero to 15 minute portion of the bezel is red. And then the rest of the bezel is blue. Individually marked minutes. There's a hash at the fives. 10 is marked with a 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. I will say if I have one little gripe about the bezel insert is that the circles that denote each minute are very close to the crystal. I wish they were a little bit stepped back. That's just me. This bezel lines up perfectly. I'm very impressed with the bezel action on this watch. Let's talk about the strap. Not too much to talk about really. This is a black rubber strap with the little wavy wavy thing. So it's kind of stretchy. If I had my druthers, I would have purchased this watch on a bracelet because even cheap bracelets, you know the type that comes on something like a Mako 3, Mako 2, some of the more affordable Seikos, I don't mind those bracelets too much. And I'd rather get a watch on a bracelet and then change it out for an aftermarket rubber strap. The problem is I couldn't find this watch on a bracelet for under $200, so I just got this one. And there are a lot of aftermarket bracelets for the Citizen Pro Master. So if I keep it, I'll probably end up getting an aftermarket stainless steel bracelet, like an oyster style. I know it's boring, but that's what I like. This has holes in it for ventilation. It's not a bad rubber strap, as far as rubber straps go. A little bit stiff, but as a tool watch, I think this is a very appropriate and very decent rubber strap, especially on a watch that's under $200. Nothing special about the clasp or anything like that. So one of my final thoughts. Loom on it is, uh, seems to be pretty good. It's a different tone than the Seiko. I don't know how long it's gonna last, but I do know that it wasn't like terrible at all. I think this is a great bezel action. I think it's a very cool bezel insert. I love the two-tone Pepsi style bezel inserts. The handset style and the indice style is gonna be pretty much up to you whether you like it or not. I don't mind it. The left hand eight o'clock position. I think I said seven o'clock earlier. I apologize. The left hand Eight o'clock crown position is not gonna be for everybody, but I just go whoop and then do it that way. So it doesn't really bother me that much because I'm not adjusting the time or anything when the watch is actually on my wrist. I think the case finishing is excellent. I love day dates. I love dates, but I love day dates better. 
just like it. I don't know why. Pretty impressive that this is a ISO certified watch at under $200. For me personally, this watch wears really small. So I like a little bit of a bigger dive watch. So I don't see myself particularly wearing this too much just because of the size. But the dial color, the indices, everything is done top notch for a sub $200 diver. But this is an exceptional watch for under $200. And I think when you're looking at this compared to a lot of the steel dives, Addy's dive, even San Martin watches, you're getting an actual original design for about the same price or even lower prices compared to San Martin. And it's ISO certified and it's made by Citizen, which actually has quality control. Really impressed. I don't know if this is the Pro Master Diver for me personally, but getting this watch in makes me want to get more Pro Masters in. Excellent, highly recommended watch for less than $200. If you want to support the channel, you can sign up for my Patreon. You can also check out my other channel, The Cheap Audio Man. I'll have links in the description. I'll have these watches, both the Seiko and the Citizen linked in the description. I'll link to Amazon for this and I'll also link to Joma Shop. Bear in mind, if you buy from either of those, they may be gray market, so they may not come with the factory warranty. But apparently if you buy from Joma Shop, it comes with a five year warranty. So don't worry about spending a whole bunch of money on watches. Buy what you can afford like the Citizen Pro Master for $175, which is an ISO certified dive watch. Enjoy every minute of it. And with that, I'm Randy, I'm the Cheap Watchman.